Hold up. Hold up. Oh. 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 Good. All righty. So today we're checking out a nice little double header. We're checking out Mark Cruz in the fourth floor. And we're in the two songs. There are the dirt and the pine. And then we're checking out the great wife shark. I don't know. It sounds ominous, man. It does sound ominous. Uh, like, not the first one, but the second one. Yeah. I, I'm confused by the name. Like, I know it's a play on great white shark. So maybe your wife's mean to you. I don't know what's going on. We're not sure. That's what we're about to find out. Um, now, the best friend did pick the great wife shark. I was like, the dirt and the pine is pretty solid. So I'm going to make chocolates in that as well. And I'm here for it. All right. We're going to start with the dirt and pine just because it's number two on the album. And then we'll go to number three, which is the best friend pick. All righty. Let's get it. I met a girl in the 
the salt and the sand Arkansas freckles come out in the Florida sun She kissed me once Now I'm going back for another one Pretty What's pretty? I feel my only complaint is with this song The ooze mm-hmm. I felt it made it a little too poppy now, that being said, the rest of the song I really enjoyed, and there was some stuff that didn't quite flow perfectly, mm-hmm. but I also, after many listens, I've listened to this quite a few times since this draft, um, it kind of has made it a little unique, and like I kind of enjoy those little flaws in it, uh, but this reminds me of like stuff I would have grown up listening to on the radio, you know? Yeah. like I I will 100% follow the, the ooze. They, they kind of took it out of the... I was in this zone, right? Mm-hmm. And it just kind of popped me out of that sure. zone. Sure, 100%. But then his voice, I love his voice, just pulls you right back to that zone. Absolutely, so right after. Like, okay. You're like, okay, I'm not really a fan of this part, but the rest is good. Okay. It's like, Damn. it's like, I'm floating away. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, I'm fine being held back down. <laughs> <laughs> so, cool story here. Um, this guy... The reason best friend is sending him to us, mm-hmm. best friend's oldest brother. This was his music teacher. Oh, okay. So he's actually kind of local to us. That's sweet. Yeah, very, I like that a lot. Very cool. And this is the first time he's, I believe, he's put out an instrumental. I believe if I'm, this is the first time he's used the lyrics. Okay. And I will say kudos to him on the lyrics because the writing is really nice here. You didn't lean on the repetitive nature that you definitely could have leaned on in the oh, yeah. song. So I really, really appreciate the writing for this. Like it, it very was very nicely fleshed out writing wise. Absolutely. Uh, my only complaint was just that ooze made it a little too too much uh, poppy for me. Yeah. But everything else I really enjoyed. Yeah, and yeah, like I said, his voice is just. It's good enough to just pull you back. Yes. So the ooze, I don't even think the ooze hurt it that much. No, 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 they don't. They um, were just like, I could have lived without those. And yeah. I feel like you might have, that was the only spot where I was like, oh, you kind of leaned a little too far into that folk pop area. Yeah, because you could have entrenched me in that atmosphere fully. Fully. Throughout the entirety of the song. But you pushed that boundary a little bit. Yes. Which is normally not a bad thing. No, no, and not at all. But I, I do prefer my folk music to be a little less poppy. Mm-hmm. So honestly, the rest of the song would have been perfect just without the ooze. Yeah. Like you didn't need them, but like still fact. very solid. What are you What are you going rating wise for this one? You've heard it first. I've I heard Knock it. it right, damn. Um, I'm gonna go with a seven point five here. I really enjoy this song. Um, this is probably my favorite on the album itself. Um, but it's in a playlist. <clears throat> I'm going with a seven point one, mm-hmm. and I'm adding it to a playlist as well. Hell yeah, dude! All right, now we're gonna jump over to best friends pick, great white life shark. Yeah. Baseline. Oh, my dear, I can't stay on no more. Never been one to stay out of the sun, but I can't be confined to the shore. This old car's got roll. Well, I'll leave this guitar for I'll let go of you. So let's take a bite of those Queen City signs. Maybe the stars and the moon Wrote it in a letter But I could have said it better If I had another couple of days Said you were the reason for love songs Sure to make them easier to play Might have lost all of that stain Worry about the money And what everybody thinks But you bring me back to myself And I don't care I don't care if it sells Throw that line and hold Do you mind if I jump in? You taught me to love And my father taught me to swim Gonna throw that line and hold Gonna throw that line again You taught me to love And my father taught me to swim Dear, I still forget the sound 
But it's clear when I hear, and it's near, and it's dear, and it's clear when you're around. And I've seen God in the darkest places, and kindness of faces, and kindness with no face at all. In the bars, in the subway cars, on the highways and byways, and darling, it's there in your heart. There in your heart. And with all that line of hold, do you mind if I jump in? Taught me to love my father, taught me to swim. Gonna throw that line of hold, gonna throw that line again. Taught me to love my father, taught me to swim. And my heart first broke like a promise to fall her away I was 23 and it still wouldn't start It would beat like a heart no, beat like a heart I said this old crunch got wrong I see what the session can do And the tour that was born to be weary and worn Brought me back to the bay I went through all that lot of hope Do you mind if I jump in? Taught me to love from the father Taught me to smell And with all that line of hope, gonna throw that line again. Taught me to love my father, taught me to swim. whole ass vibe right there dude yeah odd thing here the bass line is jumping out more to me in these last two songs than normal really yeah okay i mean there's definitely like an eclective like just different like the instruments swapping up constantly mm -hmm. he doesn't really fall and like lean on like chorus stuff very much either which is really nice yeah like he did a little bit but not yeah. it always felt like it was kind of changing but staying the same like being I think that had a lot to do with the instrumental there. As yeah, well. um, Sister Hazel vibes for is what I was getting here. Like I, I enjoy this. Yeah, you wouldn't know. No, and I'm um, great wife shark still throwing you. I really no, like it's, the it's a good lineup because so she's the shark, mm -hmm. and she's the one that taught him to love. Mm -hmm. But his dad, after all those breakups, built him back up to teach him how to swim per okay, se. Yeah. And so he's, he was able to find his wife because of his dad's um, help through those breakups is what I got. Okay. Yeah. That makes a lot more sense. That's what I was getting. And at do least. you mind if I jump in? Like, yeah, uh, I'm going to try to jump, get back out there. A hundred percent. Yeah. Um, I really like the fishing references too. There's a lot of them. Yeah. That he slipped them in there real nice, dude. That's a good tune. That's, good, that's literally how tune. you fish. Throw your line and hold. Yeah, and they all, they call, you know, there's plenty of other fish in the sea. Yeah. You know, there's all those references to dating. You mix it all in one batch. You know what messed up is my brain didn't tie that together at all. Really? Yeah. Any of that? No. Nah. <laughs> How salty are you right now? <laughs> You're like, damn you, brain. I remember that I did this to you Friday, so I'm just like, <laughs> pay back some money. <laughs> yes, sir, dude. Yes, sir. Damn it. Because <laughs> it makes so much sense. Yep. Hey, you have it, dude. Sometimes like, it happens. You, you just, just made the song that much better. Yeah, 100%. Like, yeah. 100%. You're like, oh, my God, it actually all didn't make sense. It wasn't just randomness. I, I I was confused. I was like, where did the fishing come in? I don't understand what's going on here. <laughs> no, I mean, I like it, but I don't understand. The best part is normally I, the only reason I looked at it that way is because you always look at the name of the title and you try to connect it. So I sometimes when I'm listening to a song – and I'm with you listening to it, I'll try to see if I can make a connection there to beat you to that. You remember That's when the we, only reason. You remember when we switched chairs? Yep. I feel like I'm still over there. <laughs> <laughs> we still switched. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Shout out to Best Friend. This is a great pick for sure. Yeah, it is. What do you got rating-wise, bud? I'll let you go first. Oh, uh, Rating-wise with this one, I have a 7.4, and I'm going to add it to a playlist. Um, I really want to hear it again with the new mindset. 
Seven point seven playlist. Um, that was nice, very yeah. nice, especially for such a small artist, dude. Like that's Im- that's impressive, and also kind of low key, low key, punk as fuck. Because at the beginning here, he said how he was worried about the money, and then she mm-hmm. brought him down to earth, and basically, um, where was that? Oh yeah, worried about the money and what everybody thinks, but you bring me back to myself, and I don't care. Yep. I don't care if it sells. Yep, we're gonna throw that line and hold. Like, huh? Yes. Like just throw it out there and see <laughs> see what you find, dude. Just be yourself. Yep. And you could definitely tell he didn't lean on like I said, I was happy he didn't lean on that chorus, which is the typical nature of so, a lot of music. A lot of a music. A lot of music. And I think that made it very unique. So kudos to you, Mark Cruz. Absolutely. And the forest floor. Yeah, and the forest floor. Dude, love- dude that man some- is knocking it out of the park instrumentally. Yeah, absolutely. And the duet there? The little duet. There was there was a uh I wonder if that was his actual wife, because that would make it so much better yeah, in general, just that she kind of jumped in to uh, do some background vocals. But regardless, whoever that was, she did good. Um, that's all I have, though. Yeah. Shout out again Great to tunes. best friend. Good shit.